And if Mario fails, then Luigi will have a crack at it. And this one's a little bit slower in the side scrolling. Just so you know. And if I had kept the Tanuki, you would be able to defeat those. So. Just saying. Going there. My recommendation is stay high in this particular kind of stage. Just kind of do short jumps if you can. It doesn't hurt to learn. I guess Luigi's gonna take a crack at it after all. This place this must be Texas because everything is bigger here in World 4. Uh, hey guys, this is Captain Pound LP. Oh my god, I can't believe a Texas joke. Welcome to another episode of Super Mario Bros. 3, GBA version. In the last episode, we completed World 3, the seaside. We'll go on to World 4, gigantic land where everything is obviously bigger. Where they come from. I have no comment on this any further. And Luigi will get the first mushroom here. Since he has saved his hammer for this particular service. And a Tanuki suit. I think it's all Tanuki suits in this one. So, very special. And he starts off level 1 in this area. So, let's go ahead and do it. Yes, this is place is Texas. Or Gigantic Land, a.k.a. Giant Land, whatever. No more Texas jokes, please. Because I'm going to talk about big, you know, what. But anyway, let's just keep it on. Keep our game focused here. And yes, if those of you are wondering, I'm recording this in one setting. Just because I feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it. I don't care. I've had a long day at work. I feel like just enjoying myself. And I've actually closed the store by myself without anyone's help. I'm just hoping... I can actually do repeat, not actually do and do everything right. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I mean, seriously, really? No, jackal. Alright. Yeah, you know, lucky too. Alright, so we're gonna go back. You can free fall over here if you want. I don't particularly recommend it. Because I don't know where you might land. That is, you know, your prerogative if you so desire to land there in the middle of nowhere. Because I don't know if you will be able to land there. Just what you needed? Okay. Well, I need... I need a girlfriend, I need a good job, a good job that pays $33 an hour, and all that fun stuff. How's that sound? Go figure. <laughs> Alright, so, that's just a coin. No big deal. Alright. Whoa! Gigantic. Gigantic turtle. And we get to take him over to the goal. I like it. Yay! Yay! All right, good. Go, E.D. All right, let's go. So, first world cleared, and we got those gigantic hammer sledge bros. Fireflower is definitely going to be your best friend for this episode, in this world. Not episode, well, in this episode, yes. But in this world, you can actually, this will definitely come in handy. So... Here we go. This is the white mushroom house. I wasn't able to do it the last time, so let's see if I can actually do it this time. Alright. I'm actually going to keep my fire flower. I've elected to keep my fire flower. 
that, that is a leaf there if you shall desire it. I'm going to see if I can keep my fire flower, because I might need that more than... And, of course, they bring back the Mario Juan concepts of flying cheap cheeps, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, so that's a star there. It's your pro probably your only chance of getting those coins. And I think I got it. I think I did get it. I'm so. We will see whenever I hit the goal. Level cleared. And we got. Uh, oh, yeah. I did it. Alright. But that is Mario's. We're gonna go ahead and fight the Sledge Bros. The first one up for bids on the price is right. Alright. And it's a uh, cloud. Okay, so. And Luigi turns forfeits, so he looks like Mario is doing three. Not a, not a problem whatsoever. And of course, we all know special item. Blah 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 blah. So here we go. And Mario will take this. And we got Fire Flower, basically loaded with good items from Mario Luigi. It's basic items mostly. But, you know, what can you say? I mean, really. So, let's go on to three here. This one, then, eh, you want to be careful. You would want to be careful. Either pipe will take you where you need to go, so there's really no point in debate. Just take one, and you'll just go to the same spot. I mean, no point in arguing. I mean, real, in this game, particular game, it's just, it, there's a lot that has not changed, but there's a lot of improvements. Let's just put it to you that way. <laughs> alright, so, alright. I kind of wish they brought back the little be the beat of the Super Mario Brothers, um, th the underground thing a little bit, but, of course, this is, you know, the watered down ver some they had to water down some that didn't make the improvements if you know what I'm saying. And just watch out for a spiny that's gonna go upside down if you're not Oh do oh, I missed. I don't know. No big deal. Be careful of these blocks. I think they're both yeah, they're both like that. Be careful. A little hazard there. If you're not careful. But let's go for five. And I didn't know I had 69 lives, but no longer. <laughs> Alright, we got five lives. Good goal. Alright. 74 lives. We are doing just fine. Um. Let's give Luigi some another shot at this, because really. So, let's see here. That's 20. I think that was here. Or, I knew it was somewhere around here. Fire flower. Uh, there it was. Never mind. Well, that was wasted. But let's go ahead and use one of these stars up. Well, that was a bit of a unexpected lag. So I'm gonna go down here as usual. No big deal. It's my preferred route. If you want to brave it, you're free to take up the upper route if you want to. I just like taking the lower route. I think the lower route's a lot easier despite this boo here that cackles like a hyena or something like that. So let's keep moving. And of course they give you a little obstacle. And this boom boom does not fly, but he's pretty easy to beat. And Luigi will waste no time. That's the way to do it, Luigi. Waste no time whatsoever. Alright, so the pipe is that just pipe goes back to the beginning. No point in actually going through there. So let's try this again. I probably should save that for Luigi, but whatever the case is. Alright. Yeah. 
math. I, I'm just messing these up. But if you get all four, if you get up to the diamond, you have a chance for 30 lives. Pretty much the case. So, so for the three, basically 10 lives. I don't remember what it was for the 30 lives, but you do have that potential. I mean, I, I've just been really biting the dust with... Um, Bite the dust with that. Uh, panels there. I mean, really. Speed panel. So, here we go. Coin secret. Easy to do. And we missed it. Oh, I missed. Alright, no big deal. No point in going after it again. Because you only get... These peas are for specific. I'm gonna tr maybe try. E not quite. Oh well. I thought I would try it anyway. Good try though. All right, going up. All right. So up there is you know who. Probably your best bet to stay as low as you can possibly can. Let him. But it looks like you're not gonna have much choice. But stay low, stay low. Just make it like a J and stay low. I mean, that's all you gotta stay. Fudge you, like you Just fudge you. Whatever. Let's just go on. All right, we got a star. So not bad. We're hitting around 200 seconds per stage. It's not bad. And Luigi looks like we'll be taking on another sledge bro. Alright, so let's just go ahead and pick a box. Let's go. Alright, Raccoon Leaf. He looks like he's got a good item now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and take us on. Rawr. Well, I was going to try and stomp him. Never mind. Oh, Pee Wing. Yeah, very good, Luigi. Very good, Luigi. Very good. I'm gonna try and finish this in one setting. World 4 is not too terrible long, terribly long. So let's just go ahead and finish in this in one go here. So let's get within the time a lot, of course. Whatever. Just whatever. Alright, star. Not bad. Not bad at all. Luigi, you will take level 5. Mario will take a level six. And, oh yeah, I was waiting for you. I knew you were up, up there. I was just want to know where you were, buddy. All right. Thank you. Just what you needed. Yeah. All right. So introducing in this one, guided missile bells. They will come back. And starting with the new Super Mario Brothers Wii for the Wii. They are even more guided by um, um, they will go in any direction, I think, in the super new Super Mario Brothers Wii version. So just so you know what to expect. <laughs> I mean really. That I think there's a Tanuki opportunity up. A Tanuki opportunity up, up here. If I can actually jump on one of you guys, thank you very much. Right up here. Needy, 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 needy. Echo, 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 echo. This game is the worst echoes in this particular game. That was a good move, Paladin. Good move. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Alright. No, we're actually going to make with a Snooky suit. Nice going, Paladin. Good job. Yay! Very good, Luigi. Alright, so we actually will make it to the 20 minute time frame. I'll go ahead and use up Mario's mushroom here. 
Alright, so this one has the magic doors. Basically what these magic doors do, transform between big and small world. So, whatever tastes your fancy, although the stages will be slightly different. Yeah, I think just keep it big for a little bit, but this will give you a leaf. So let's go up here, but I think you would have to have it small for up here. We will switch it over in just a moment. Alright, switched over. Now it's small world. Alright. And it's just a coin, so whatever you want to I don't care, whatever. I'm with, I think I'm just going to keep it small. I don't know if I, I kept it small in the last one, but I will keep it small this time because really, you know, what's the point, you know? We did it big last time. Everything's weird big where I come from. Yeah, I never really understood that, though. You know, Texans say everything's bigger. I, I guess I made a snarky-ass comment, too, and I think it drives me crazy when some people get on my nerves about where everything bigger Texas. Well, yeah. You know what? I'll be a, not always a good thing, I would swear. And if you want to make it big, that's totally up to you. I'm just going to keep it small. <sighs> Jerk. Alright. For the land of Texas, to I me, mean, if it tastes your fancy, you have my blessing. That's all I got to say. Alright, let's go. No offense to anyone from Texas, I just never understood it to begin with, but we're doing pretty good here. Luigi will take on the fortress. Let's go ahead and do this. Line up the pictures. We all know the story, so let's go ahead and go for... Oh, crap. Not the easiest one. Oh, yeah. Alright, so now we'll have a heart next time when we get to world five. Way to go, Luigi. That's the way to do it. Alright. That's just... He's going to be clearing the fortresses, it looks like, in this series. Alright, so watch out. I don't... I, I might just switch back to fire. Because Tanuki is just not that effective, I think, but that's totally up to you, your call, but I'm just going to get rid of it. I, I love the Tanuki suit, but it's just this particular game, not worth its while, if you know what I'm saying. And this door is right here, so this is kind of a preview, which you'll be seeing in the next world, so just be aware. I mean, these kind of worlds, and also World 7, you'll be seeing a few of these stages. I mean, yeah, you will be seeing a few of these stages. And these stages can be incredibly long, so whenever we get to World 7, yep. Prepare for your, your funeral, pretty much, on this one. Well, let's, just, let's just go back up that other way. No point. But yeah, you'll, in World 7, you'll definitely see some more of these kind of stages. You'll see one in World 5, but... But just, I think only one, one of the stages. So, alright, go up here, just go up here, that's just gonna take you all the way around, so... Alright, uh, there is one up, up here. They're very kind to you, and letting this... Well, actually, they're not kind to you. Never mind. One up there, just so you know. And if you had a... By chance, if you had a raccoon tail, right up there. So... Yeah, 30 coins up there, so... But we don't have a raccoon tail. I elected not to have one, so... 
No big deal. Let's proceed to Boom Boom. It's right over here. Oh, yes. Your effect. My funeral. Yeah, I know the drill, my friend. Yeah. All right. So that will clear the way for Mario to beat. Go to the airship. So, all right. All right, so go ahead and pick this up. And we'll go ahead and wrap up World 4. Tanuki. All right. Let's do it. Donkey Kong Jr. Okay. All right, so let's do it. And if Mario fails, then Luigi will have a crack at it. And this one's a little bit slower in the side scrolling. Just so you know. And if I had kept the Tanuki, you would be able to defeat those. So, just saying. Going there. My recommendation is stay high in this particular kind of stage. Just kind of do short jumps if you can. It doesn't hurt to learn. Never mind. I guess Luigi's going to take a crack at it after all. But yes, if you lose a life on an airship, then you have to chase it. So don't worry about it. Unless... Alright, Luigi. Mario failed. So this will even up the score. Not going to matter much because Mario has the most lives. Really? No biggie. You can do it, Luigi. Let's do it. Yeah, of course, pick up the extra life. Not bad at all. I noticed that about the last day I had 99 coins. S stay balanced. I tried. Alright, let's assess the situation. Alright, we can do it. Now watch out for Rocky's wrenches. Sounds like an automotive club, Rocky's wrenches. Where you take it to like a body shop or something like that. Stay on the end here. Get stay high if you can. And stay up here. And didn't make it that time. Oh well. But in like the original, they gave me another power up at the end, so. Alright, we made it through, okay, so no big deal. And extra power up for your being a good sport about this, so. Gotcha, alright, here we go. And here's Iggy. Get over here! And you're gonna do your high. Dude, never mind. We got it. We got it. All right. Well, Luigi did it, but Mario couldn't. Go figure. <laughs> so, bonus there, twenty-three thousand, because we got one sixteen times two hundred points. First, second left. All right. So, 
Texas land or giant land, whatever you want to call it, is now in the books one last time. Now we're going to World 5. The thief who stole the whistle escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. Okay, so we don't know about but World 4, we cleared it. So there we go. And save our game. We got a perfect clear. So in this episode, the next episode of Super Mario Bros. 3, we will now go to the sky. So until then, this has been Captain Palin LP. We will see you in the sky. Take care, everyone.